Hello. And welcome to part five, isn't it? This is episode five of our Australian exclusive Tamiya Abbas build, the MB01 chassis. That's it. Now you would have seen episode one, two, and three with Grand Pooh Bar of Mini, That's Tony it. Gray. Mm -hmm. uh, episode four and five. That's this. That's this. Of doing the body work. Doing the body work. Mm. So thank you for joining us. Now, last episode, we did the masking. That's right. We did the cleaning, we did the masking. Yes. We, preparation. We sprayed on some lame flake. We did some PS53. Lame flake's a funny word, but yeah. <laughs> it is, isn't it? PS53. So that's got some of the uh, little glitter, multicolor glitter. And then we did, then we did a PS32, which is, is the coarser gray. gray. Yeah. So that's as per the instructions for this. Pretty much. Yep. Box art, and now we're going to mix it up. Now it's a matter of getting the masking tape off. Yeah. But before you do the, that, yeah. so at the end of the last episode, we actually backed it as well. So we've backed, backed up it. with white. So if you spin the, the body around, you see... Oh, so that's the colour we're going to use for the flares. Yes, that is the colour we're going to use for the flares. Yep. You can get that. Oh, super crisp. There we go. So, so it's going to be at? different to the white that's actually... Yes. So I'm going to pull this tape off, yep. going to paint it orange. That's right. And then we're going to smoke the windows. If you spin around, windows. you'll be able to show how it's got the... No, no, no. Inside. What? Inside, how it's been backed with a bit of white. Yeah. Yeah. So with this, concentrated on the edges there because we don't want the orange to bleed through. And with some of these complex curves, the tape did pick up a little bit. Yep. So after you take off the tape, we're going to need to clean up some of those areas. Yeah. And... Um, no. Send it. Off you go. But in while you're doing that, I'm yeah. going to start working on the engine. Okay. The engine detail. And the engine we already sort of worked on as well, right? The cover, which is over here. The boot lid. That's it. So we didn't show this last time either. So the boot lids actually had a light coating of lane flake. Uh, we decided not to paint it with the PS paint because the color actually matched matched pretty well, right? The it does, color. It? Yeah. Look at that. Yep. And against the body as well. So touch a lane flake on it, and then we've cleared it. So that's why it's so shiny now. So we're just letting that fully cure because we just sprayed that before. But in the meantime... I'm getting in, mate. I'm going to take apart... Actually, you've already taken the screw out of this. I tried. Okay. So we'll I'm just, trying, mate. I'm trying to be we, organized. Because we dry assembled this. And we're just going to quickly clean off some of the edges. So it'll look a bit more realistic. Now, knowing you, did you do a lot of research about this engine? No, I didn't actually. Oh. I would have thought that you'd know every nut and bolt on that engine. No. Okay. No. So I'm just going to take off these bits here and I'm just going to quickly sand off. I'm going to need off. you to use your a bit of skill and creativity because I want to put fuel lines and engine lines on that. Well, fuel we're going to have to do a quick Google leads. search. If I could, what? I'll, I'll get the knife off you later. If you can pass me over all those um, nine step sanding blocks, please. How good are they? Thank you. These I, are really handy. I have not used them on tires. Okay, so as you can see, they've all got different grits on them, marked. And I'll use the 400. 400 is sort of my go-to. So you feel this, the really rough side is a 240, the smooth side is a 400. I'm just going to clean off these mold lines. Do you know what's actually really good at getting the tape off of bodies, which I should be using, not the... The gizmos. Oh, the yeah, nine, we've got a gizmo here. The nine step gizmo is really yeah. handy. Really? Because the knife, if you slip, not yeah. that I do, I'm pretty precision, you know what I mean? I'm pretty well made for these things. Yeah, you don't want to scratch off the. <laughs> Put a big gouge in all the fresh oh. paintwork. No, that's right. And this is usually how I do it by holding it, like yeah. exactly like this, Yeah. and peeling the tape, and then gouging it along the inside of the body. That's. Gouging? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a common trick with Brett's painting. That sounds like you. Yeah. And then I go, I should have used the gizmo. <laughs> <laughs> so, just like that, it's really easy to, to sand off these, these mold lines. You did use lots of little bits of tape, didn't you? Yeah. Why? Is I it reckon, all coming off separately? I reckon well? I could have done it in about four pieces. <laughs> <Yeah>. That's you, <laughs> isn't it? All right, since you're not using a knife. This is what I would normally do. I'll scrape down all these because this will be a lot quicker. All right, I'm going to have to go and find a gizmo now. All right. Watch me while I spin away. Well, the gizmo is just near all the rest of the tools. 
So just using the edge here, just to scrape off these mold lines. It's worth telling the people at home that we should be we should be in a hi-fi. Hi-fi? No, high fidelity. Oh, why? Because we, we have new some mics. new equipment. That's right. Yeah. After our little rat passed away. Yeah, yeah. Well, it came we didn't, more crackly. Yeah, we didn't realise that. I was wondering why we are getting some sound interference. So I hope you enjoy this. Definitely more professional presentation. That's it. No thanks to you. What? That's the gizmo. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> You're definitely, uh, you know, bringing it down a notch. Well, thanks for that. No, that's no, all right. I, I appreciate now, your honesty. I can see where you've you've done a really good job taping, and I can see where you haven't. Yeah. Well, that happens sometimes, particularly on stretched areas. I'm going to zoom it in. I can't actually find a bad spot. What? You know that? No, I there's really, a couple. There's, the bits around here yeah, and the other side. It's a tiny bit of fuzz. So I'm going to zoom in here, guys, so we can have a squeeze. So that's where it's sort of picked up a bit. So have a look here. I'm going to try and point it out. It's going to be hard. See here, we've got a little bit of where it's bled under. Um, but have a look how crisp that is. That is really crisp. Got a little bit here. Yep. Well, luckily it's The tail it's light will be screwed on. It's no stress. Just oh. following the lines around. You've actually done a um, is it all right? A better job than I ever would have. Really? Even if I wasn't doing it on camera. Well, even with heaps of care, sometimes you, you just can't front, front read where really you might good. get some bleed. But luckily, it's not difficult to clean, which you're going to show everyone, right? Yep. So let me get out of there. Now you're using the well-loved bottle of this one and some cotton buds that's it now Tamiya and Mr Hobbies do make some awesome cotton buds they do far better than the ones you get from the, the black and gold ones from Coles or whatever yeah but because they don't leave any they're much tighter and they don't leave any lint behind yeah but I love living on the edge <laughs> do you now yeah I will use the cheap ones all the time so can you explain to me what's happened to the lid on that it's pretty well loved isn't it this one yeah it's in one piece. The problem with Tamiya, if there was a problem, is that they make everything in glass, which is really good. Um, but the glass is really thick, so mm. the, the glass won't break. It's no. obviously been dropped. And instead yes. of the glass smashing, yep. which should be plausible, the, the plastic has. top smashed. That's right. You know, because it's so heavy. But, but it anyway, still seals up and we're still, still using it. Yeah, that's right. It's one of my favorite products. So I'm just going to go ahead here, got a little bit on my cotton bud, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to rub rub. Rub rub? Yeah. See if I can't get that crisp line back to where it should be. Yeah, so basically that's just um, taking off the, the excess paint that's been able to creep under. And where it's crept under, it's not actually like painted properly if that makes sense so it does usually just wipe away yeah because it's overspray right yeah because so it's, it's just sitting on the top that's right so just have to be a little bit cautious but there's not too many bodies in fact i can't remember i don't think i've ever done a body where i haven't had to clean up a masked edge that i've um done mm. And there's no shame in that. No, not at all. I mean, it's very easily fixed, right? That's right. And that's probably why I'm so lax <laughs> with my masking to begin with. You're lax? Because oh, oh, you know you can fix it. Because I go, oh, I'm going to fix it anyway. <laughs> you know? Fair enough. It's one of those, one of those jobs you're, you're prepared for. Got right, a bit so of microfiber here. All the way along here. I do like to use micro microfiber cloths on uh, bodywork because it doesn't leave any lint behind. It doesn't? No. What about all the stuff that I'm scraping off now? Um, yeah, that could get places. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm not, not going to scrape absolutely everything because we, we do have a time constraint as well. Look at that edge, that is crisp. I'm, just lucky, there's, I'm just lucky there's no driver figure. Ah. See, look, we've brought that, brought that edge back in line. 
Nice yeah. and crisp. Yeah, good. Lovely. So that wasn't difficult, was it? Oh, Just having a look around. Pretty clean. And the polycarbonate cleaner is also handy if you have been touching a lot of the inside of the body or mm -hmm. it's been sitting like drying upside down. You want to give it a quick wipe over before you apply another color. Yes. To tack it off. Yes. I suppose you could call it. It's handy for cleaning as well if you're doing a freehand shadowing with an airbrush because they can go everywhere, right? You can't actually mask everything. And you just put it on a cloth, gently rub all over, and it'll take off that, that overspray. You can do um, like partially tinted window effect as well. Mm -hmm. Like concentrate across the top or across the yeah, bottom? Yeah, like, uh, like in your real car, you know, it has a tinted strip across the top. You yep. can, because it's quite hard to paint on with your airbrush. Yep. And then just give it like a simple little wipe with your, your finger on the cloth and it just gives it that nice faded sort of line. Yep. You've absolutely done a fantastic job here, Beach. Well, thank you very much. I, I think I should let you... Um, let me what? Tape all the RC car bodies I do now. From oh, now really? On. Yeah, so I you're think gonna, you've, you've done that good. So you're going to offer me some, some chocolate or, or something? Maybe I'm later. Like Maybe later if you behave. There's a lot of the episode to go yet. Been a good boy so far, haven't I? Well, that's the perception you're definitely throwing off. Right, good. All right, so doing the scrapage, scrapage. I'm not being super careful like I would on, say, a scale model. Well, it is a scale model. Oh, like a small one, I'm saying. So, I've got no, a lot this of, isn't lot just going to be a display car this is it's going to be used it's going to be dragged around the scruff of its neck around That's the racetrack right. so i'm just going to do quick quick sanding along here it's actually going to be a really good legacy of you know hearn's hobbies and our partnership with tamir mm. in getting the australian exclusive australian exclusivity on this build mm -hmm. big thank you to tony gray yes well tony put in quite a bit of time didn't he he really did, he really enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm really proud that I got to, we've never built a car together. I'm really glad that it was a, a Mini because that's what he's probably most infamous for here in Australia. That's it. All right, so I'm happy with that. So there's the carbs, they sort of cleaned up along the edges. Sanded off the ends a little bit. Let's do a quick sand on the exhaust. I just want to take this really, I guess it was a, quite a large moulding line. Just off the obvious parts which can be seen. It's hard to see what you've oversprayed on the outside. And for that, I'm just going to put me rag in here and give that a little wipe as well. On the outside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just to because make sure. That'll just... It's not on the inside. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, these are pretty handy sanding sponges, aren't they? I've been using these for about a year. And the best thing is they don't seem to wear out. No, well, no? They, they seem to be an anti-clog here. So if you just wipe it off. Bang it on your jeans, I find the best. Yep, on your that's pretty clean. And then if you want it super clean, you just like rinse them under some water. Or IPA, or even. IPA, yeah. That looks okay. And then this bit here. Um, and I've sort of exposed mine to a lot of chemicals that probably a lot of others wouldn't with the Thai goop. And well, that's right. Sandra and that stuff. Well, that's on your um, your video where you're showing people how to prepare tires, right? Yep, race tires. Yep, because these are also available in smaller blocks, which are perfect for that, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, do sort of rough and ready. Well, I'm going to get a well. I want you to cast to your. This up. I want you to, you to cast your fine eye over this before I. Mm -hmm. Go to town 
Before you go to town on what? With the orange. On the orange? You're gonna go to town. Oh, maybe so they have to sand this back. So these are the supports for the bonnet. Do you call it a bonnet? The engine cover's always a bonnet, isn't it? Is it? I don't know, bonnet or boot. Because this is a rear engine. Just scrape off that line across the top there. Alright, so there we go. And move those. What do the Americans call it? Trunks and trunks and hoods. Trunk and a hood? No. In the trunk. I think you're right there. And a hood. So I'm gonna get a, a little vacuum big, and I'm gonna suck up all these. And their big V8 mortar. The swarf. Swarf? Yeah. I've never Swarf. I've never broken a vacuum out once mid-build. What? So bear with me, it's just gonna do a bit of sucky jack action. I can get that bit of fluff off my face. <laughs> there we go. So, we'll clean up some of the dust. Have there. a look at that All one, right, Maestro. Have a quick look. So, just hold it up to the light, and you'll be able to see how crispy the edges are. I think it's all pretty good. Pretty good. I think you've done a pretty good job there. So, we did go a little bit different on the back. So, this section here is, is as per the instructions, that was all cause the grey down here, yeah. wasn't it? So it'd be nice to have a bit of orange going across the, the bottom there. Nine steps orange. Not there just any go. orange. One of our okay. favourite brands. I think we're ready to go with the, the orange, right? So you're going to do a couple of um, thin coats. So you're going to disappear, right? I'm going to disappear. Yeah. I've probably got to uh, turn my microphone off because you probably won't... There'll be noise, there'll be crazies, you name it. Yeah, probably. Or you can leave the mic here. That's right. <laughs> I think that's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, yeah, do that. All right. So in the meantime, while you're outside, I'm going to continue working on this. Now I'll probably need to disappear a bit and prime this as well. I'll so, be right back. Alrighty. All right. So let's show everyone what I got here. There we go. So these are all the bits that were just cleaned up. But just giving it a quick scrape along these mold lines here. I haven't bothered about here because it's not so noticeable. But giving it a quick sand across the, the ends of the carbs. Otherwise there's that really pronounced line that's all the way down the centers. Okay, so that, the edges of the exhaust. And then here out end as well. See, I've, I've left a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about that, that'll be fine. And then just clean these up a little bit too. All right, so how are we going to do this? Now I'm going to have to spray some primer. So I've got some primer here. This is a Mr. Service 1200, which I tend to use quite often. There's not a lot left in there, so we'll see how we go. I've got a, a new can as well. And then I've got uh, my collection of paints, which I'm going to use. So here's my little palette box so I'm going to use that as a palette then I've got all my paints with some metallic and I'll be mixing it up get our nine steps brushes in there too put that over here get that ready and then what else have we got oh I've got my little brush rinser which is this Oop. got too much water coming out there empty that out so that's for cleaning the brushes uh, what else do I need? I think that's it. So we'll wait until Brett comes back. Which sounds like he's not far away. And then I'll disappear and I'll prime these. Now the clever thing about these, each one of these exhausts is a different shape. And they need to go in a particular order for it to look right. And to me, I have actually molded in each one of these a part number. So you see that just in the end? 
each one of, this, of these is marked. So even if we've cut it off the sprue, it doesn't matter because we'll be able to identify each one and put them in in the correct order. So that's really, really smart and very clever from Tamiya. All right, let's see, let me do a bit of shaking around. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe I could find somewhere I could spray these here. Now this is going to fit. Which way does this go again? Let's go this way, I think. So it's going to look quite nice, I think, once we get it together. All right, I'm going to disappear and I'll be back shortly. Welcome back, Beach. Thank you. So we've done a bit of preparation, haven't we? We have. So I've got a couple of coats of orange on here, the most important bit. Yeah. And how good does that look? It's looking pretty good. Uh -huh. I, like, I like the contrast. It's pretty cool. But you spoiled it for me. What do you mean? Because you told me it was golf colours and now I'm, I'm a bit upset. Well, it's golfy. It's not well, totally golf. It. I don't want it golf colours. Oh, well, there you go. It's nine steps orange, mate. Well, while you've been doing the orange, I've been finishing off this stuff. So you saw me sand it before. I did. I'll, I've put um, two coats of primer on it. Okay, so I just stock all and the bits. And you even stuck it on there. Yeah, that's you the easiest are, way to spray. Oh. You're a true professional. That's what would have happened to me. And well, then that's what happens, you know. And then I meant that. Carpet fluff all over it. <laughs> so it's just been pretty rough and ready. But we've got our bits. So we've just been looking at the manual too. And we looked at some photos of some actual engines and just trying to work out how we're going to paint this up. So we're going to follow the instructions to a point. That this part is going to be red. Mm. We're going to do the aluminium parts for the head. Yep. Um, it'll be a dirty aluminium, so it looks cast. Yep. And then we're going to leave it um, a bright silver for the carburetor bodies because they yep. look like they're machined. And then we're going to do some sort of dirty finish on yeah. the exhaust, right? I so it's going to look like a chipped finish. white. <coughs> chipped white or a bit yeah. rusty, I reckon it's good. And then we've got the um, the supports. For... The hinges, you've got to paint them like a dirty metal, yeah? Or a flat black or something? Well, it's a flat black just on the struts. Yeah. And then the rest of it will be body colour. And I didn't bother painting those because we just wanted the body colour to match. So but you can see how the difference in the primer. We did paint the boot, boot yeah. ready to go. That's looking good, isn't it? Looking real good. Real shiny. Look All right, that. without further ado, I'm going to duck off again. Oh yeah? Okay. I'm going to back this sucker with white because I've got two coats of colour in there, but I want it to pop. Yep. Don't we? Yep. So I'm going to go and back this with white, which will protect it. Mm -hmm. Then the next step will be pulling off the uh, window mask mm -hmm. and tinting the windows. Yes. And we're calling the body effectively done. done until, That's right. Until we marry it with the engine. That's it. Well, I'm going to fold this around. Right. I'm going to keep this handy. You keep that handy. But in the meantime, I'll be the right work, back. Work area is clear. Yeah, I'm just going to get all this stuff put over here, and we'll prepare this stuff for painting. All right, so I'll paint mostly these exhaust bits before we put them together. All right, so there's the components. Uh, these will be screwed together. So. Let's see, let's start off with this bit and we shall paint the red. So I've got my box of tricks here. Now I'm not going to bother using a wet palette because I'm not going to blend that smoothly like I would with a figure, say. We'll just apply the paint straight onto this section here. I've got my little brush toilet, our little rinser there. Got all my acrylic paints, got some silver there as well and some brushes. Okay, so let's get that out. So first thing I'm going to be painting, let's see, will be, I guess the red, I'll do the red on the bottom. Now, what's with the alternator? The alternator is meant to be silver. Okay, so that'll be like a cast sort of color. All right, so let me get the red out. So it's going to be a really bright red. I like bright red because this is going to be my homage to Ferrari. All right, so we'll get our red there. Let's just cap this off. Move that out of the way. All right, so I'll get a, a sort of broadish brush. Let's use this one. Got some water here. And I'm just gonna thin down my paint a bit. 
until it's at a smooth consistency to brush with. So this is an artist type acrylic, so it's really dense. Lots of pigment. If you use say a modeling type acrylic, then you won't need as much paint, oh sorry, as much water as you're gonna see me using. You see how it's still sort of lumpy? I'm just gonna get it to a consistency. That's smooth. And not too heavy or thick. So you see how it's actually still leaving marks where my brush has gone through. So it's still a bit chunky for my liking. Just keep adding water a little bit at a time until I'm happy with the consistency. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe it off, get some of the excess off there. And we'll start brushing. Okay, so all these bits here are gonna be red. I'd normally be wearing my mag visor too, but I'm not really looking for that much like sharp detail. Close enough is good enough, I think, for this. Don't want to spend ages and ages painting it either. Just paint the back here. Probably never see this section of it, but it's nice to know that it's painted. Trying to get into these little nooks and crannies. Now this. Okay, so this part is also red. Make it nice and bright. So when doing some research on actual engines for this car, quite a few different variations because there's been quite a few restorations and I use new bits and and such I think it looks nice with some modern bright color pops all right so do this then this is all around the sides of the crank casing Okay, now what's this little thing of jiggy here? Well, that's going to be painted silver, I think. Let's double check the manual. Where is that? Okay, so I've got the distributor here, which is in black. I'm going to be painting that in a burgundy later. Okay, I think pretty good. Now I'm just going to quickly do another coat across some of this. So it's got a nice deep colour. Classy. Alright, so let's just clean off our brush. One of my favourite parts is to flush the toilet. There we go. How good's that? Alright, so we're just cleaning off the brush for the next colour. And I'll get into the silver, I think. Let's just wipe this off. I try to wipe off as much as possible because otherwise the red will get into silver and, and make it a little bit of a pink tone. Here is our silver. I'm just using acrylic Tamiya silver. And for an acrylic, it's actually a 
pretty decent metallic. Some acrylics are just really, really heavy on the fleck. This is super fine. That should be enough. All right, so this is going to be, I'm going to try and make a dirty cast color. So it's going to be a little bit gray. So I'll add some, some black and some white into it. Now the white is going to make it look, I don't know, that magnesium white, I guess. So a bit of white here. And then we'll get a little bit of black as well. Black, you don't need very much, so we'll put the small little dollop here. I'm always out of this stuff, so hopefully I can get a little bit out of it. No? I think my black has died. If that's the case, we're not going to do black then. We'll do another colour. What's next? I've got some brown. Let's go brown. Work with what we have. Alright, so it's going to get a slight brown tone to it now. Alright, so a small amount of this. That's just to darken it up. Get some water. Actually, the brown doesn't look half bad. All right, and now some white to cut that. Yep, pretty funky. All right, now thin it off, make it easier to brush. All right, so here's my concocted cast colour. Wipe it off. Alright, so let's just brush it through. So I'm going to go all over the, the alternator. I'm going to paint that belt a... Woo! Hello, welcome back. I am back. Now I've discovered that my black has actually dried out. Has it? So I've mixed up a concoction. A concoction of black? Yep. Oops. Some of this red's not dry yet. Oops, oh, gonna turn pink. It's even better. Is it? Yeah. You like that? Alright, I'll stay away from the red because I'm trying to brush this a bit. Because it's like quick. a bit rusty and it's a bit beautiful. Do you like that? Mmm. How oh, do you like that? Mmm. I've got a bone and hair dry for a second. Do you? I might leave this bit so it dries off a bit more. Because otherwise I'll be smearing all the red. So let's put that over here. But in the meantime, this cylinder head, that's going to be this, this colour. It does have a bit of this sort of pinky tone in it now. Gives it a bit of interest, I guess. You like interesting colours, don't you? I love them! You love them? Like, how much do you love them? More than oxygen. <laughs> Is that a thing? Uh... I don't know, is it a thing? Alright, so let's keep this going up to this point here because the carby bodies are going to be like straight silver so it looks like they've been machined. Now this is looking a little bit aged with this tone. Is that a word? Are you making up words again? Aged. 
When you get to your age, you can do anything, BJ. Can I? Yeah. You give me permission? It's been clinically proven. <laughs> clinically? <laughs> All right, so this is going on all right. Now we'll probably do some black washes and things like that too. That'll make all the all the rivets and the nuts and stuff pop. Excuse me while I re-adorn my microphone. Your microphone? The, Where is it? That's the. Uh, the oh, magic oh, of Hollywood. My microphone's sort of hanging a bit funny. Is it? Yeah. Probably stuck to, to your bra. How's that? That's better. What do you think oh. of that tone? Do you like it? Yeah, it's got a it's, bit it's, of musty pink about it. Well, it's a little bit quartzy, isn't it? Because you can reckon that those, those cast the alloys would have been pretty dank. Dank? Dank. So that's what we've got so they far. They wouldn't be crisp. It's going to look like that. You know, like the, um, well, I'm just going to say Japanese. Can you say that? No. Let me see if I can get in here now. Hopefully the red's dried off a bit more. Do you want Nan's hair dry? Oh, it's not dry yet. Have you still, you're going in wet. Yeah, it's a bit wet. Okay, we'll give that a bit more time. I give nothing time. Now what I've done over here, hmm. stop hogging all the, I've put in white, look at that. It's glowing. Oh, it is too. It's glowing. That's how white it is. Um, and it really makes that pure orange pop. Does, doesn't it? The old uh, PS62. Yeah, it looks really good. I think that looks really good. Now, it doesn't look very shiny because it does have the protective coating on. Yeah. But that's only in this world for the next five minutes. Is it? Because I'm about to whip off the window masks. Whip them off? Whip them off and tint away. Right. Now, I've got my nine steps. I am going to use my nine steps gizmo for this. Right. So, bear with me as I get whipping. Well, I'll move this out of the way. So I'm, I'm just going to, actually what I'm going to do with these. That's less than we I... We wanted these to be sort of dirty brown, right? So let me mix up this brown, which I've got here. Is there such thing as a clean brown? I would argue yes. Because I'm just thinking of dirt. Are you? Yeah. Well, if you wash, wash dirt, it'll still be brown and it'll be clean. Is that a thing? But what colour is that? clean brown. No? Am I wrong? I think that deserves another 30 seconds of discussion. What do you reckon? No? Um, You're going all quiet. What's going well, on? What am I doing here? Let me... The, the, the tongue nearly come out then. Did it? Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out if anybody has seen me remove mask. Remove masks. Yeah. All right, so I'm just doing a base coat oh, of Oh, you've joined it up. Yeah, it was meant to be. Okay, well, I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was meant to be. So I'm sure the sticker is going to give you that. Now, this window mask frame. could have been a bit crisper if only I'd let the paint cool down. Ah. But that's okay. If you let it hang there, no. it'll stiffen up. And then no. you'll be able to just flick it off. No. No. No, you're in a hurry? Always. Always in a hurry. If you're not first, you're last. Is that right? I'm not sure. All right, so I'm just painting this brown all the way over. So we're going to get this sort of rusty tone, and then we're going oh. to do like a... You've made it brown. Yeah, I'm going to do orange through it. And yeah, but that's the base tone first, so that's really rough and ready. Okay, so I'm going to do the the brown base and then I'm going to join the exhaust together and then we'll start doing the orange and stuff that's like the weathering stage the weathering stage yeah now can you guess why I'm using gizmo for this so you don't scratch so I don't scratch and gouge the paint we were talking about that before weren't we and I'm trying to get it out of my hand as quickly as possible okay. because I'll often window masks <clears throat> I'll often yeah. be pulling off one window window mask yeah. And be gouging the other side of the body at the same time. Oh, you do that, do you? Yeah, that's often. So I'm being very careful because I'll be embarrassed to do that on camera. I've never seen you embarrassed. Wow. Oh. What was that? That was a good one. What do you mean? You missed it. Was right. it close? I might have slipped. 
I didn't gouge anything though. No. So that's that's what you were talking about before. The things that can accidentally happen and do happen. They do happen. They do happen. So, and sometimes you have to do things the wrong way to learn. Well, you, you really appreciate so what, the right way, what, don't you? What I do here with the gizmo is I put it to the, the corner yeah. and I actually push towards the center of the sticker. So right. like push it in yeah. and that breaks the seal of the... And it, and it forces the edge up? Forces the edge up right. and gives me something to grab. So right. I can put my tool down. Right. Now I'm running out of um, brown paint here. Patience. Have to, have to... Running out of patience. Hmm? And we can wire up. Uh oh. Huh? Got, got your mouth full. Hmm. Here we go. Make a bit more concoction. Da, 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 da. The Tamiya masking tape that they include with the body shells mm -hmm. is in fact the same that you buy. On the roll? In the roll. Yeah, it's that um, really nice. the crepe style paper. It's really nice though, isn't it? Mm. It works very well. Well, they used it for windows for a long time, didn't they, and doors? Did they? Crepe paper. Is that what they're called? Windows and doors? Do they? What are you talking about? The paper doors. I've seen Totoro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that what the they're called? The paper industry in Japan. I don't know, but they, no, you know, they, the, yeah, the doors and windows. Yeah. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not that cultured, but... They call it washi paper. Washi? Yeah. So the handmade paper. Do you reckon Nonna's hand making uh, the Tamiya tape? Could be. Ooh. Is it looking good? <laughs> oh, look at that. Shut up and take my money. It's got a bit of definition now, isn't it? And little mistakes were made. Were they? Little to no mistakes were made. Oh, and little life to no. Is good. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh. I think we're in a good position to move forward here. Good. So, I'm just going to get the old cotton wool in the, my cleaner. Mm -hmm. And just clean off the very smallest of edges. Now, I probably don't have to do that because there are decals. Yeah, the decals will co cover it up. For these window frames. Yeah. But I still don't want to let you down. Still want it to look good? Because I know that you won't talk to me if I make a mess of it now. Well, it's not like the whole day I won't talk to you. It'll just be like an hour. But that'll be the worst hour of my life. Would it? I can well, say that. Well, that's, that's the whole reason for it. It's to make you feel sorry. <sighs> Do it right. ka -cha! <laughs> You whipped me. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Hey? Otherwise, you whip me into shape. That's right. And I am definitely bringing the, the newbie into the party. What do you mean? Well, this is you're doing everything really professional and sharp line and beautifully masked. Where? No, I'm not doing Just that in here. General. This is all pretty rough and ready when I'm painting here. Yeah, but that's what it's. That's what we need. What rough and ready? Yeah, because that's what they would have looked like. Ah. Oh. You can't have a crisp showroom engine in it. You can imagine these race engines. They would have been discoloured and oil stains and... Well, rough as guts. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a brown down, right? Now, this is... A brown one, of the, one of the advantages of the paint sort of slow drying. So I'm going to mm -hmm. mix up some orange. L'orange. Yep, which is... I just need some yellow now. You're pretty good at mixing your colours. Yep. You love it, don't you? Well, it allows you to just work much faster. Just do work with what you have. All right, so I've got this fairly red orange here mixed up. A red orange? Yeah, I'm gonna thin it down a bit. So it's a little bit like a wash. 
and I'm just going to dab it all over, all over this brown. And this will give it that sort of rusted tone for all those areas where it's burnt through. What, what is that white anyway on the exhaust on these old ones? Is that like a, a, a heat I want to say that it was a fashion item. Oh really? It would have been like some sort of heat retaining coat because before the white ceramic coat somewhat it was a big thick like oven like ceramic style paint it um, wouldn't have been titanium because no. white is quite often titanium white it's made out of titanium you don't think that would have helped it well maybe because what they want to do is they want to retain heat in the exhaust that's right they don't want it to escape right because the hotter the exhaust gas yeah the better it flows right um and not only that but they wouldn't have wanted to heat up the engine compartment either that's what it looks like with a bit of the the rusty orange. Do you know the the modern coatings and stuff that they use? Mm. You can actually. I'm led to believe you can actually hold your your hand, hold your hand on, on, your, on it on the on the turbo, for example. Oh really? Yep. Is that good? Is it? It's that good. What material would they have in it? It's some unobtainium metal. Is it? That's it's not like ceramic well. or anything. Well, it's sort of like eggshell. Apparently, it's really really. What do you mean by eggshell? It's like, really, really like... thin and it's really, really oh. ceramic type. It's really, really strong, but also shatters. So if you like the stuff they use on a space shuttle, wouldn't it? Probably. they had ceramic tiles on it, I think. Probably. All right, so that's the sort of rusty, really rough look we're getting roof here. Roof tiles on the shuttle. That's odd. Not roof tiles. Not roof tiles? No, just tiles. Thatch. All right, so we're doing all these- A thatched rocket. Exhaust here Is that what you're as saying? Well. So we're just doing this really rough. If the English made a rocket, it would probably be thatch, thatched roof. Not slate? No. I thought slate was a thing. Slate? Yeah. Don't they do that in certain areas in England? Yeah, certain areas. Oh. Not every area? No. I wouldn't was know. That, was that an assumption? It was more accusation, I'd say, than <laughs> oh, your really? tone. I didn't. <laughs> your My tone, I didn't mean it. Your inflection. Oh, jeez. Is that what I can call it? I'm sorry. It's trying to be more diplomatic. Now this here is going to be really noisy for people. Is it? So well, I'm going to go away. Right so what I have now is some PS31. Look at that. Yep. Are, you, are you happy with that maestro? Yeah, I think it looks all right. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks very good. So I'm going to give it a really light tint. Yeah. Because I just to take the starkness out of the windows. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? So. A really light blow over. Looks like there's not much in here anyway. Yeah, just do real thin coats. It'll be good. It'll just be one coat, one particularly, coat wonder. Yeah, particularly when you've got a really light coloured body, just a thin coat will be enough to give you that definition. Mm. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Looking forward to it. I'll be right back. All right. You can keep painting. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Yep. Well, this is going to take a bit of time. Is it? Yeah. Still? Yeah. Don't mind me. No, I don't mind you. What are you doing? It's like you're doing Kung Fu. You got like the horse stance on. Yeah, I have to stand like a horse sometimes. I'm just going to finish off the, the brown base coating on this part of the extractor. And then we'll be doing the the rusty treatment on that too. All right, what am I doing now? Let's do some clean silver, I think, for the carby, carby bodies while this dries. Here's my silver here. Seal this off again. All right, a little bit of water. And wipe it off a bit. I'm gonna move this back here. Let's wipe it off there. 
All right, what am I doing here? So here's the engine I had before. So our carby bodies here are gonna be this brighter silver. I'm back. Hello. Did you miss me? Not particularly. All right, so. If I didn't know you so well, I'd be offended. Really? Do you know what I'm gonna do? What are you doing? I'm gonna pull off the sheath. You gonna do what? I'm gonna pull off the sheath. Are you? Yep. When do you all, right, all right, I mean, there's a bit of a reveal, isn't it? The grand unveiling. Is this what we're up to? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Now I have tinted the windows, so you can see it's still wet because it was done about 33 seconds ago. Yeah. Um, but they do have the tiniest amount of tint. I think it's See? enough. That's what Definitely you want. enough. You just want yeah, yeah. something just to, to take the starkness out of it. Yes. And you can see by how it is now in the white. It's very light. Just one coat. Mm -hmm. Just something to take the starkness out of it. All right, so we've got the silver there. It's very subtle. You can see the difference between the two metallics I've used there. Now let's see if this is dried off enough. I'm just, I might just use I'm peeling up the straight, protective layer. straight silver on this. That's what I'm doing. Peeling up the protective light. Ooh. Yeah? Ooh. Wow. That's like sunburn. Wow. You know, like, like remember, peeling your skin off yourself. Yeah, do you remember when you were really sunburnt as a kid? And it's not really politically correct now, but. No, it's not good, is it? How many times have you seen people put stickers on? top of body body protective a lot and it's really sad because all the stickers come off like you can't get stickers off of that so unfortunately all the stickers just come off it I'm done you're done that's it I am done check this out people Oh, yeah, it's making pretty all good, sorts it? of. Why don't you go grab the um the boot lid too? The boot lid. Yeah, the boot, the bonnet. Well, where is it? It's behind you. And just hold it on there and see how it all matches. I think it's going to match really well. Yeah. It's Look at good. that. Look, even the camera, 4K camera system cannot pick up the color differential. Oh yeah, look at that gloss. Yeah. No? It's good, isn't it? Look, the gloss is good. Gloss could have been better on the boot lid, but not for what we're doing. No, it's good this, enough. This glossiness on this body show is going to last probably until it's stickered. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Lexan, as much as we love it and looks very clean, does actually scratch to the touch. It does. So it's never as shiny as when you first take that plastic off. No, that's true. And look at your beautiful mask in there. Looking on the top camera. Oh, really? Where's that? It's everywhere. Oh. Look at it. That is nice crisp. and sharp. It is crisp. Like, I don't go around just making things up. Don't you? Oh, look, and you can see the, the lame flake, the fleck in there. Yeah, that's a nice touch, isn't it? I'm actually quite impressed with that because I haven't really used lame flake much before. No. Look at that line. You are a wizard. A wizard? Don't I need like a big stash and beard to be a wizard and a sleeve sleeve big sleeves oh Wiz big sleeves Wiz wizards have big sleeves oh. big wizard big sleeve i wasn't too sure where you're going with that one the better the wizard the bigger the sleeve right very nice all right so this is where i'm at here Ooh, high def it's look at a, this a bit of rough around the edges but it's right so it's still going to do like the uh what do you call it like a maroon or the burgundy for the yeah the cap for and the then also there. for the belt. And you can see a little bit of dirtying on the exhaust, but I want to do it like more orange. More like, orange. Like, like a fresh rust. Fresh. Why do you like that? I think it's a bit dark at the moment. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put some white over the top of it as well. And white too. So it's gonna look like it's all sort of coming off. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so let's mix up a little bit of um that I don't know, the burgundy. What's that? Is that gonna be like a, a ready brown? 
Is that what we're doing? I think it might be. I'm calling it, Val I'm calling it Vallejo Red. Are you? Let's clean that off. I still, got, I still got this bit which is drying. Vallejo Electrics, the Prince of Darkness. What? If Vallejo made fridges, the Italians would all be drinking uh, warm beer. <laughs> no? <laughs> you know that's what, terrible. You know what warm beer is good for? Cooking past, that's what my nonna used to say. It did not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't believe you. Yep. No. Did I had a nonna or did it? No, I thought yeah. she said that. Yep, that's a thing. That's actually quite funny. You can, you can nonna fact check that. Right, all right. I'm going to a finer brush now. Ooh, that, and, um, that brush is very oh, ragged. Have seen some, seen some use? Oh, I've seen no? It. it is thrashed. It's been around. Can I call it thrashed? Yeah, it has been thrashed. But that is a beautiful thing about the Nine Steps brush range, is that they just keep coming back for more. What colour is this um, filter thing meant to look like? Is it blue? Or would it look good I for know. oil filter? Are you normally blue? Blue. You can go blue. Bit of blue in there. Can I? What colour are you going to do the ignition leads? Ignition leads? I don't know. Is that something that gets painted or is that just going to be a bit of... No, it's going to be a bit of vinyl that we're going to stick on it. Or wire. Vinyl? Mm. What vinyl? What? Vinyl wire. Where vinyl tubing. I don't know. I'll find it somewhere. What? You're a madman. So I'm just doing the belt. The stator in the alternator? Mm -hmm. Yep. Or is it a stator? That's the stator. What is it? Yeah. I thought it was a belt because it looks like a belt hanging off there. No, the belt will be in front. All right, so we're just going to paint that off a bit there. Beautiful. And you've, then you've how, done much, this before. how much is this cap? It doesn't go all the way, does it? Is it halfway? I would say down to, yeah, three quarters of the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's move this over here. What do you think? I've got no idea. Yeah. That's why I need your help. Well, it's about the only, I'm not very much help most of the time. What else can I be doing? Uh, what are you up to? I'm not sure. Well, maybe you can prepare it to take some of the details. You see these little knobby bits, the three nipples here? Mm -hmm. They need to be cut off. Do they? Yeah. How should I cut them off, do you think? Uh, sharp knife would be the way I'll do it. So they get, they get cut off or do they just need a, a hole That's in them? I think they get totally trimmed. Here, really? here's the manual. Check the manual. The manual. Yeah. Oh, I just dropped all the um, the supplementary bits. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. All the mirrors. Did you paint the mirrors? The mirrors have not been painted. What colour are the mirrors? X18. Are they? I'm That's sure you know enough. what that is. Semi-gloss black. Is it? Yeah. You are a walking encyclopedia. So it gets painted. See, that's that's here. We have got the hiss. Um, doesn't say much about the cutting. Maybe but when the accessory they, gone. They cut it off before. Oh, before painting. Before painting. Oh, okay. That's ludicrous, isn't it? Cut away. I would probably like to stick a. Um, hmm. I think I might stick the the nine steps body reamer in there. Oh, uh, reamage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'll ream off the lip like that. Have you got the lenses and stuff out or is that something that's not in, is that something still in the box? Oh, it could be still in the box actually. Oh, oh this, this ream has seen better days. Has it? All right, that was a bit rough already. I'm going to have to get some more silver and tidy that up a bit. Have you got nippers there? I haven't got any nippers. These nine steps ones are absolutely phenomenal. All right, so I'm going to paint this filter blue now. Better get some blue ready. Did I hear something fly? <laughs> Might have. I'm just cutting the nipply bit off. Right. That's not a bad blue, is it? I'd call that cyan. What'd you call it? Cyan. I've never met her. Really? I haven't. Okay. How do you spell that? Is that what it is? The K silent. <laughs> <laughs> no? Well, it could be. You're the one telling the story. 
Actually, that is quite a nice blue. You're welcome. Look how chunky it is. So super dense. Good pigment. Mm. So I'm just slowly, slowly trimming this hole away. All right, let's paint up this filter. The filter isn't blue all the way either, is it? No, where it bolts on won't. That is a whopping big hole though, isn't it? Right, what are you talking about? Here, in the headlights. Yeah, well, the thing's got to go through them, doesn't it? I hope so. I guess if we cut it wrong, we've just got to fix it. Well, there's another episode. Fixing Brett's mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> the episode that everybody wants to watch. See, so, yeah, it all goes wrong. If I have to pick up the manual, you can bet that it's gone wrong. No. I need a parts train. I need some lights. J1, H1, we've got screws and everything. How's that? This is all coming together. Do we is have, it? Do we have a box for this unit? There's the racing chassis. Yeah, eh? the box is near there, isn't it? Yeah. I feel that, oh, that's very blue. It's super blue, isn't it? It's getting there. Oh, they're very light light. All right, so most, most of this is painted up now. So I'm gonna start bolting it together. Now I'm gonna need that manual to remind me how these exhausts go on because each one of these is different. So I'm going to grab your manual there. Where's the exhaust key bits? Exhaust key bits are after this, aren't they? So these are the bits you, you're checking out for the, the grill and for yeah. the lights. So, so we've got those. J1, J2. Yeah, and the H2 and H1. So the exhaust here, that's what I've got to check. Oh, look at the chrome plating on this. Gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it is very nicely done. Look at the mirror. Is that the mirrors? Mm. <sighs> very well done. Sh shut up and take my money. I thought you were going to say something else. Well, I'm blown away. I can barely talk. Oh, really? It's taken my breath away. All right, so let me follow this thing. And it's not just the fumes. There's no fumes in here because of our new extraction system. So I've got to do H9 and H11 first. And that's printed here, and I can't read it anymore because I painted over it. That's H10. I have got some mirrors Here's for H9. you. Here's H9. H11. Yep, I need H11. Okay, so that goes in there. This one goes in here. Got that right? I got them the wrong way around. I would yeah, nearly go, go as far as not to paint these rear vision mirrors. You wouldn't? Because they're going to get scratched straight away. Are they? they? When it tips over or goes on a wall or... Oh. And then they're going to be bright blue underneath. Oh, I think you got, you got to... No, we can paint those. They'll look good. All right. You're look the look boss. Good. They'll look good. You are... What have I got here? The technical director of this... H8. H8 goes on first. They've even undergated the chrome lens. Undergated? It's one of my favorite words. You know a lot about undergating, don't you? Yep. All right, so that one and then this one. So you can see how these need to fit in perfectly here. Actually, I'll spin this out of here. So Wowza. All right, so here we go. Oh, maybe I had that wrong way around. Oh. Did I scare you? You're being a bit aggressive. All right, so I've got these in the right order and these just need to fit into here. Oop. Have I told you, BJ, that this is an Australian first? I don't know if you have. Is it an Australian first? I'd like to say it's a world exclusive, but that could be wrong. Uh, very well, maybe, yes. But Australian exclusive, exclusive, 100%. There we go. So we've got our exhaust on. And while they're sitting there, let's see. Let me have a look at this. Just go over the top like this. Oh, 
Whoops. The best thing about the badger in this car. Oh, what do we think of that? It should be screwed on. So it still looks alright, doesn't it? Looks okay. Looks amazing. All right, so let's continue on with our painting. So I've got to touch up some of these browns because I've scratched a little bit. Did you? The emblem, can you see anywhere with what screws they're held on by? Uh, yeah. Are they just... Is it these ones? They are 2.6. Yep. By 10s? By 10s. Thank you. Yep. So three of those. All right, let's keep touching this up. Mr. Grey took his jizz. Did he? Yep. Oh, you'll probably need it. I don't know that the 2.6 is a, technically a jizz head anyway, but still, a quality screwdriver would not go astray right now. No, oh, yeah, that's right. Because right, the last so thing I want to so do far. is slip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't want to slip. I don't want to slip with the screwdriver. Right. And scratch the body. Do I? No. No, we don't like seeing that at all. Now I'm going to mix up a more orange. Or well, a light orange, I should say. I'm going to use a lot of yellow in there. Now that looks like really fresh rust now, doesn't it? Tell me that's not awesome. Yeah, it's pretty full on. No? It's nice. I like that. And it's not going to, it's not just something that's going to like flick off. No, I would hope. Look at that, it's got like a retaining bucket. What'd you call it? A bucket. Retaining bucket? Retention bucket? Retention bucket. I, however, might take the opportunity to actually pre-screw these ones mm -hmm. to cut a thread into the item. Yeah. So I don't, in fact, have to push and struggle and risk breaking. You don't like struggling? I love struggling, but if you take the time to just screw it in and screw it out once, yeah. I think it will make my life better. What do you think of this rust effect? It's very rusty. They do like salt. Do it's they? from the Amalfi Coast. I like a bit of seasoning, do they? Oh. What colour are you painting the oil cap? It's going to be red, isn't it? Red? It has it's to gonna, be red. Is there going to be any green? I don't know, we can do some green. Oh, the air filters are going to be green. They're going to be flocked green. Oh, they are too. And the ignition leads are going to be a dirty, dank green. Are they? they? Yeah. Well, I've got to go find some. Because they've been touched by lots of oily hands. Have they? Yeah. Oh, is that how it works? When they're trying to find the mess. <laughs> <laughs> what? Does that happen often, does it? Yeah. I'm Cause, guessing around here. Because this would have had bit. points and everything. It would have been pretty rusty around here, eh? Pretty hot around here. Is that where it would have burnt off the most? I don't know. And would you expect here to have the most paint still remaining? You'd reckon it'd be the coolest part, wouldn't you? Hmm. All right. I don't know. You know, it looks very rusty. I thought you said it was going to be like white looking. It will be. The white's coming on later. Is it? Hmm. From now. You're a bloody artist. All right. So that's what I've got there. That's what we've got so far. Do we like that? I love that. Yeah? That's all we've got so far. Pretty rough and ready, but I mean, it's good enough, isn't it? It's perfect. Okay, so let me just touch up this blue oil cap, which I scratched as well. That was from uh, putting on the Bit of over exhaust. A bit of over exuberance. Oh, there's a locating dowel. So I have to actually make a hole here too, do I? Make a little hole. And that's going to be hard because... Is it? Why is that? What are you doing? Making a little hole. Can you just poke, just slowly drill with the, um, the knife? That'd be alright. A bit of blue. Like a dowel. So what I'm doing with the, the cap, that's going to be red, isn't it? Or we're we going to do green? What's green? It's oh, no, 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 the, um, 
the filters are going to be green, aren't they? Alright, so let's do a bit of red. This, is there anything these nine steps hobby knives can't do? No, they do everything. We should eat a steak one day with them. Excuse me? What do you reckon if you whipped one of these out of the restaurant? I'd probably call the police. What do you reckon Maurice would say in the patisserie if you went to cut your croissant with one of these bad boys? Monsieur! <laughs> oh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'd say some other things as well, but I don't know. Look at that. Got little holes. Little holes? I'll put my little reflector on there. Make sure the dowel locates. Oh, that is spot on. Spotties? Spot on. How much is that dog in the window? That is five dollars fifty. That is spot on. No? There we go. Red oil cap. This is posing to be quite awkward. Is it? To do this up on a wet body shower. Now, I reckon this needs to dry off quite a bit before I start doing the white. Do you want Nan's hair dry? Unless I'm going to try something with it really thick. What do you reckon? Not as thick as some. What if we do that? What if we start dabbing on some white? Dab dab? What's that going to look like? Well, actually, it's covering it up pretty well. And I'm really glad that I pre-tapped these holes. Yeah. That was a good move. Was it? It was, apart from eating lunch today, it's probably one of the best decisions I've made. Well, lunch is quite important. Oh, I could do a coffee. Mm. I could kill a coffee right now. I'm trying to do this on camera to make it somewhat entertaining. Mm. First, Tony Gray for taking his jizzy away from me. Oh, really? I yeah. thought we had a jizzy yet, or a jizz equivalent. Well, maybe it's a matter of looking. Oh, you haven't looked? Well, that'll probably explain it. I don't know, what do you think of that? Holy smokes, Batman. Does it look a bit weird? Oh, stop it. What have you done? Oh, you've got some detail happening. And then there's a decal that goes on that. Is there? No, you could probably do panel line would probably look better. Panel line, yeah. Are panel you doing line. panel lines on anything? Well, we can. All right, so it's going to be burnt off bits, right? So it's going to look a bit like this. Spotty. Hmm. You're a wizard. Wizard? What do you mean? You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> You don't want it to look like it's got leprosy. I don't think I've seen anyone with leprosy look like this. All right, does that look sort of all right? I don't, I just don't know. I don't know how you do it. Oh, stop it. Wow. Is that sort of look we're aiming at? I think so. What do you think? Yeah, it's sort of looking interesting. I'm going to do a black wash across this as well. What? No. Stop it. I'm done. You've absolutely blown my mind. Have I? Mind blown. What do you mean? Yeah, that's what it, it looks like. Because it started life as blue plastic. Now it looks like something unearthly. Look at it. Does it look okay? It looks phenomenal. Well, we're going to get some black washing in there, and I'll let, let me get it now. And, and here? Mm. You'll give it a heaps of definition. Well, it? Mm. So, keep that zoomed in on there. Should you do my headlights too, or should we just use a sticker? Oh, the headlights will look good with a black wash on them. Do you think? Yeah, I reckon, I was just I reckon it'll the, look better than the sticker. I was looking at the sticker, and it looks like it, I, I think it's just going to lift. Mm. It will. It will, for sure. And it's going to get smashed off with the other thing. Yeah. Whereas, if you wash it, 
All right, let me get the black wash. Are you getting it now? Right now. What's to go with the tail lights on this thing? Oh, they'll probably be stickers, won't they? Oh, they're stickers. Hmm. And I reckon if we want them to stay on, we'll probably, we'll probably brush on some gloss clear. So here's my wash. You can see the label perfectly, can't you? That How's actually says Tamiya Panel Accent something. Liner. That was actually really hard to get about a fortnight ago. It somebody, was. Somebody would have paid ridiculous money for that. They probably would have. So as it comes out, it's got a little brush on it. And just watch this. This is like magic, right? What? Show me. It's got like a capillary reaction to it, doesn't it? Yeah. So and that, it goes, that's, that's how it works. So it's oil based. It's the it enamel goes, thinner. It goes in all the cracks. That's right. It smells a bit like enamel paint. Well, that's because it's enamel. Is it? Yeah. This is like, look at it. like when we used to make our washes, you used to have to get enamel paint and actually just thin it down. But it's already been done for you with a little brush. It makes life much easier. Can you do around the spark plugs a bit too, I reckon? Sparkies? Where are the sparkies? Can't see. Around here? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll do across the top here as well. Oh, you can, oh, stop it. Look at it run. Oh, that is magic. Oh, that is magic. Isn't it? Look at all the definition it's given. And across here as well. That, I am god -snacked. Probably overdid that a little bit, but well, that's okay. that, that just looks like oil leak, print, doesn't it? You need the hand prints on the oil cap. How good is it? Super easy. And very effective. Mm. Just getting all that depth in there. Just put it absolutely everywhere. Definition plus, eh? That is beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, that looks good. Oh, so you put it on there too. You put it on everywhere. Just wow. Emphasize everything. Put a little bit on the edge here. And I imagine one of those would last you a while. Yeah, it will. It will, for sure. So once we're happy with this, I'm gonna let it dry off a bit. And then we'll put some flat clear over everything just to seal everything in. Flat clear? Yeah. What, from a spray can or? Yeah, from a spray can. Wow! And when are you gonna put on the fluffy air filters? Oh, well, I guess. Well, it's a bit wet now, isn't it? Looks all right, doesn't it? Looks amazing. So you thought you put too much, then you go and put some back on the same spot. Yeah. It keeps coming back for more. It does, it just seems to need a little bit more doesn't it how do you know when to stop oh well, you don't you just got to call it really yeah you keep you gotta, going just got to say oh yeah that's enough have you been too far before yeah but the great thing about this is once it's all set you see how some of it will sit on across the top here we'll just get a cotton wool bud dip a little bit into enamel thinner and we're going to rub all that off and all it doesn't affect the paint underneath no no really? because the paint we used is an acrylic doesn't get affected by oh, it. Oh, that is some, you are a wizard. So that's what we've got so far. So it looks pretty dank, can we say that? Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Is that what we're looking for? All right, so we've got a fast R bath, one Arbath. liter, dank looking thing. Yeah, and it, we've got a nice glitzy. Look at that, I just snuck a nose in there. Oh, so that's what we've got so far. You're gonna stick it in? Oh, that should be black there actually. But I haven't got any black. The hole. Just panel line the pooper out of it. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, good idea. There you go. Are you going to try me headlights? Let's do your headlights. Let me just shake this up a bit and get it a bit blacker. It might come out a little bit. Because it just looks too clean. And the sticker. Is there a top and a bottom to those lights? There is, isn't there? Yeah. It had a locator thing. It's a locator. Oh, 
Oh, I think I've put on too much. It's pulled down the bottom here a bit. Well, you want me to hold it 90 degrees? Oh, uh, yeah, I can't see. Is that better? Right. Oh, that's good, that's good. So it's going all the way around now. Can I put some on this side? Yeah, nice. So I think we need to keep it upright until it dries. But hopefully from the top camera, you actually see what's going on there. Let's see if... Almost there, almost there. There we go. Okay, so we've got quite a bit more definition there now with the black panel wash. And it's also got those, um, I guess, what do you call it? The, the facets, I guess? What They're that? already molded into the light. The cut glass, yeah. Mm, nice, isn't it? I think it's worked out all right. It's working out pretty good. All right, so we need to keep that upright. We need to let this engine here dry off. Yep, next minute. Then what? And then we'll do flocking, eh? Do some flocking? We'll do some flocking. We're going to flock. So if you don't know what flock is, that's this powdered stuff here. Now we normally use this for dioramas and stuff, right? And rail. Yes, it's a powdered foam, which is basically what we want to emulate on the ends here, right? Yeah. Go green right uni filter socks. That's it. No? Socks. Oh, wearing okay. socks. Are they green uni filter ones? Probably not. There's nothing. Okay, like so this. we're just going to glue those on. So how about we sort of give it a bit of a rest for the moment, wait for this to sort of set, dry, and then we'll continue on, yeah? I love that. I yeah? love that idea. All right. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. Yeah. All right. So we're back after doing a little bit of uh, prep. Welcome so back. We put on Woo! a bit of wash before. I'm back. So you can see from the engine, we've got the black washes all dried up. I never up. did get that coffee. Oh, did you? We'll get a coffee later. And then also on the, um, the lenses. What? we put the wash on those too, and they How? look absolutely awesome. Yeah, Let me see bit, if I can focus. Probably a bit tight. Look at that. Might that's be hard to see, but I mean, it, it just emphasizes all those facets really well. It does, doesn't it? Mm. Real good. It's like a black chrome. That's it. And really nice. I thought, since I've got this, is all dried up now. Let's do a quick look at how. Yeah, oh, that's crisp. So you see how look we had exhaust. some. I love it. It looks all right. So you see how we had a little bit of overflow here? Mm. So that's the wash. And then there's a little bit of overflow across the top too. And I'll show you quickly how we clean that up. So I just got cotton wool bud. That's our standard ones, right? Yeah. So this is a regular cotton wool bud. From and Nan. we've got, from Nan, Nan that's Nan, right. Nan's cotton and wool And we've buds. got the X20 thinner. Okay, so. How do you, you know it's X20? Because it says enamel X20. Enamel thinner. Yeah, so, so the, blue, just, the blue capped one. Just for enamels. That's right. Okay, so you don't need a lot. So what no. I tend to do is I just shake it. And Why? a little bit will go onto the cap. So you see that? Mm -hmm. And then I'll stick this in here. Don't you just dunk it in the bottle? No, it's too much. It'll go everywhere. And that's all you need. It's a little no. touch. It's a little drop. What's that gonna do? So you see this? Yeah, I'm watching. Yeah. You see how that's quite pronounced there? See how it's coming off? Wow. And that was with the smallest amount because you don't want to like flush and that's all clean now, see? Yep. And that's with the tiniest amount just on this cotton wool bud. And that's just taking off the excess. And so we're going to do that across the top here too. And I'll give a little bit more definition. So it's like dry brushing. Yeah, this is reverse dry brushing actually because you're taking stuff off rather than putting stuff on. Ooh. There you go. So now we've got high definition again. You can do that over, over all this, right? But probably don't need to. But that's the general idea. So that's how you you manipulate the the wash after it's been applied. That's beautiful. There you go. That all is right, so there's, a, there's a little tip for you. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to continue on. This is pretty much complete, right? Yeah. And so the only other thing get, it needs. That gets stuck in last, but we are going to put some foam on the air filters, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Actually, how about we do that now? So we wanted to do the, um, what, the, the filter effect. Yeah, okay. the foam filter effect. So I've got a bit of cardboard here. I know, which that I, not, I know that they're not very pronounced. So let's use this to put here because the flock is going to sort of go everywhere. Are you going to just dip it in? No, so what I've got is, I've got some You're of this. You're not going to dip it in? 
Well, I'm gonna like sprinkle it first. Okay. So here it is. So we've got some aliphatic resin, which is like a very fast drying wood glue. It's high quality wood glue. Wood glue? And it's quite thick when it comes out. So what I'm gonna do is probably mix a bit of water into it. Why? Because it's gonna be too heavy on here. Really? Yeah, it's really thick. Let's just clear up my little water toilet so I'm gonna use the water. Okay, so I'm gonna mix a bit here on my... On your dry palette. That's it. It's dry now, isn't it? It's all crusty. Super crusty. While you're Put doing it, you can do that. I'm going to do the mirrors. I'm excited for the right, mirrors. I don't need a lot. That'll do. And I'll get a little bit. I'm going to use a skewer for doing this. Yakitori? These are Yakitori skewers, yes. Are they? Yeah. There you go. Quite like these. These have got the big flag on the end. They're easy to hold. Good for hamburgers. All right, so we're just mixing up our. Our glue here with a bit of water. That is an interference down. fit. It is. I didn't they're believe you. They're never going to come off. Never. Never, ever. I can't even get them out if I try. No. Okay, so you see how we just softened up that wood glue a little bit. And we're going to use this wood glue on these filters. So I'm just going to apply it with... With the stick. With the stick. Now, I was debating whether or not to paint these green mm. on the end because a little bit of this will show through. But if we apply enough flock, then you probably won't notice. But then again, it might look normal, like natural, yeah? Oh, natural. There's nothing natural about this little radio control car. No? Color-coded mirrors. That probably wasn't a fit on option back then. No, it probably wasn't. But the reason that I opted not to have black mirrors is because they're going to get scratched up straight away. You sure? Yeah. You can paint them black. Then when they get scratched, we just touch them up. Sure you don't want to do that? I think they look alright colour-coded, no? Oh yeah. Looks a bit, a bit custom, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. I reckon in the old days they would have been chromed. Oh, you reckon? Yeah. I'm not sure. Alright, so this is pretty much got glue all over. Glue all over? Glue all over. What do you call these bits? Are these the trumpets? Trumpets. Trumpets of the carby. Velocity stacks. Yep. Okay, so they're all coated with the glue. And we've got our flock here in the packet. I'm just gonna pour some out. There we go. So you see that flock there? Yeah, and then, then what do you do? I'm just gonna sprinkle it over the top. What if it gets stuck on the other bits? Oh, well, it won't, it'll fall off then. Because really? there's only glue here. Dip it in. You want to do dippage? No, nah, look how fluffy it's coming up. What? Yeah. And then do you spray it and then do it again? Well, I'm going to put this flat clear on it. This spritz it? Marlon would have spritzed it. He's a spritzer, isn't he? Yeah, spritzer from way back. So you see how some of this foam is, some's chunky and some's really fine. I'm just pressing it down. So I've got that sponge effect. That's exactly what we're after. I might be mistaken as moss. Moss? Bit of moss. Lichen. Bit of lichen. I've got to put the mirrors on. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. I need to realise. Yeah. I'll probably have to put them off again to um, put the window stickers on. <laughs> <laughs> that's Luckily, that's easy enough to do. That's the thing. Nothing's broken, nothing scratched, but... And talking about the stickers for this, I'm actually going to put them on off the camera on a clean bench. But I will be part of this episode. What do we think of that? The fairy bits. So there's a couple of little bits that are... So if we wanted it really even, we could probably do another application, but I think that's good enough. We'll seal it in with some flat clear, we'll see what it looks like. All right, let's weave all the excess off. What do we think that looks like? Looks Is that like, good enough? It looks like Totoro. Is that the look we wanted? Yeah, I think that's perfect, no? It's pretty furry. All right, so we've got it's some- Fuzzy. Furry stacks. I like yeah, well, it. there we go, all right. So there is our engine 
practically fixed and done. Okay, so I'm just going to put some flat clear over this. It will seal it all up. And then we've got a bit of time. I'll probably put some um, spark plug leaves on. Maybe you should put it over the whole thing. That's where they would have gone. Where? On the whole thing. Well, they would have covered it all. Mm, you know, well, they've they, gone they, all the they way get, over here, they? get they? cable tied on. But I thought they get cable tied on the end. Mm-mm. They get cable tied down here. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, you want the whole thing furry? Well, I don't know. I'm just looking at it now thinking it sort of looks like there's a tennis ball sticking out of it. Yeah. I thought that's the way they looked. It's up to you. I don't know. I don't like the idea of them getting all furry down here. No? Because you don't see the, the, the stacks there. Okay. I don't know. Does it look wrong? Oh, there's no there's no wong or white. No wong or white? Maybe we'll leave it like that for the moment. I like it. You like it? I quite like it like that too. Okay. Even if it doesn't look quite right. Well, it's got that, matter. what is it? Is it HKS has, does this? Yes. Who has it? HKS has little mushroom filters like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's just leave it like that. It's something a bit different. All right, so this is going to get flat cleared and then I'll put some leads on it. Um, and that's done. Done? That's done. All right. Where's the flat clear? Now, the only other thing I need is we've got these, which is the supports for the, um, the boot. Just got to paint the black over those struts. And what else do you have to do? No, and then, that's you're, it. then you're going to do stickers, gotta, right? I've got to put some stickers on. Right. But I'm going to do them on a clean bench. So okay. I'm not going to do that here in front of the camera. Let me move this out of the way. I can put one or two stickers on in front of the camera. Yeah. But um, yeah, essentially, we've all. Put oh, actually, stickers I need on that. Before. I need that. Nobody has that much time on their hands to watch me put every sticker on. No? No. Hang on. I need to paint the black. So let's just get some black opened up. The black? Black. I'm going to do a quick. Wizzo, this is a matte black Tamiya acrylic. Mm -hmm. Where's that going? On the hinges? Well, it's not hinges, it's the whole struts. Oh. Can't you do it straight from the tin? Well, I mix it up. I don't think you get much control. No? Just straight from here. No, I do don't like always, it. Really? I don't like leaving bottles open because they dry off. So I'd rather oh. just take out what I need. Even though there's going to be wastage here, I don't care. Because at least the bulk of the paint doesn't dry off. The toilet brush holder is working quite well, isn't it? It's very handy. Should use more often. Oh, that's my favourite bit. Isn't it? Yes. You know, don't you? All right, so let's clean this off. All right, and so we're just going to brush paint these. So it's just these bits here. Now, we didn't bother painting the... Um, the grey on this. Undercoat, you mean? Is that what you meant? Yeah. Because we just want to leave them the, the natural colour, yeah? That's pretty much it. This doesn't have to be super perfect either. It's better if it's not. They would have been all mangled and... What, these things? Yeah. Would they? These would Are you just, sure? These would have just been handmade, welded up things, so the boot wouldn't shut. Yeah, but they would have, like... Paint them up and they would have looked fresh, wouldn't they? No. Isn't that the idea? Am I wrong? Uh, Am I expecting a bit too much out of this? I don't know. I reckon they would have been pretty rough and ready back then. Really? I don't know. We're going to have them like a nice deep black. I wouldn't have a black any other way. Yeah, I like it deep. It's good. Yeah? It's quite. It's coming up? Supple. Supple? Yeah, you know, it's supple. It does look supple. You've taken something quite mechanical and quite functional and, and given it life. Have I? Yeah, look how it looks like it's lived. This engine looks this like, engine? It's, looks yeah, like yeah. it's lived. It does, doesn't it? It's been places. Seen things. That's this right, it's got is, stories. It's seen some stuff. <laughs> it has. <laughs> we'll have to buy it a beer one day and, and find out what's been, been happening. So that's pretty much all we're doing. So we're doing it. Do it fairly quickly. Doesn't need to be super crisp, does it? Because this thing's so. going to be moving so fast, isn't it? That's the intention. That's okay. It's going to spend a lot of time in the cabinet looking good. Is it? Yeah. Oh, in that case, we've got to do a better job of this then. I'm going to enter it in a model expo. <laughs> Why not? I'm not sure. Large scale. It's not that large. Oh, it is compared to everything else. Well, it's their fault. Is it? I don't call it big. Park a real one in there. <laughs> Full size. I modelled this. One to one scale. <laughs> Scratch built. 
out of box. Out of box, that's right. Have I missed anything? I can't really see what I'm doing here. No? Oh. I've got the funky angles going on. I think I've got everything. Oh, I've missed the inside here. So this is pretty much all we got to do. Good chance that we won't see these bits anyway, but just in case, I'll paint them up. So you're going to be putting on the decals, right? Now, why don't we have a close look at the decals and see what they're all about. They're absolutely beautiful decals here. Now, we've got to decide which ones we want to put on. I reckon the blue, the blue stripes and stuff, I reckon they look good. Do you? Like there's one that goes on the side between the orange and the gray. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Yep. I'm not sure and about this big cross on the roof. I don't, yeah. I don't know about the cross on the roof either. I think that's a bit much. But there's others bit, on the bonnet, aren't they? There is others on the bonnet. So over here we've got some. Yep. I don't know. But it needs something on the top, don't you reckon? Yeah. Well, uh, if we're going to put the ones down here, though, I mean, they will suit. And there's some to go on the boot lid. I think right. that'll be nice on the boot lid. Mm. I'm running out of paint. Oh, yeah? Mm. You should have grabbed more. I should have. It's okay, there's more in the jar. Yeah. We've got windscreen wipers, that's exciting. Isn't it? But yeah, it's not going to be an easy feat. So we're not going to do the decals on camera, but we, I mean, we've shown how to do decals quite a number of times, right? Yes. So it's probably not the best thing to try to do and do well either, is it? No, not because when you're, because we need the heat gun, which yeah. is annoying for the, the cameraman. Yes. I need water and I need clean and it's all, yes. it's a bit messy. Yes. Because if you get hair and stuff under the stickers, you really only have one shot at them. Well, that's right. Once they're on and stuck down, because even when you heat them, they stretch and they bend and... Yes. I can save a, a couple for the studio. Yep. But it's a pretty standard trick, isn't it? We use yeah. some um, uh, water with a bit of detergent to help us guide them. I will. When we, when we tidy up, I will do some. Right. So I'm just doing this quickly. And then after this, how's this held together? It's double-sided tape, right? Yep. But we're going to use something extra to make it more permanent. Yeah, I'm going to, um, just short of putting nuts and bolts in it, we're probably going to use shoe goo, I think. Yeah, we don't want it flying out, do we? No. All right, so that's one side practically done. Let's do this side. And there's even, there's even stickers to go inside the engine compartment, which is nice. Add a texture in there. Oh yeah, I saw that, the pressing textures. Mm. Yeah, really nice. Definitely a, a nice touch. And this isn't a new body set. This was, I think when I cut it out, 1995. Mm. So I don't think they would have updated the stickers either since then. So what was it released on? So Tony. Oh, okay. Because Tony was talking about that, wasn't he? Mm. MO2 platform. I don't think it's been around that, that regularly. I don't think I've seen it in stock that often. How's that? I think that's done. It's good enough, yeah? Beautiful. Let's just do a little bit more here. You know you're going to see the funkiest angles. All right, you I missed think that's done. Did I? Oh. There's a, big, there's a big chunk of monkey bit. There's a big bit too, isn't it? That's all right. That happens at your age. I think that's good. So that's good. All right, there's a couple little bits there. All right, so that's the struts all painted up. How many hours of entertainment has this little kit provided? Yeah, and how many None? people? There's three people involved. If you can count me twice. Four people involved? Yeah. All right, so there we go. Well, there's the engine bit. So I'll work on that and get some um, uh, spark instead plug of, um, lines on it. Instead of car of the week, we could have engine of the week. We could. Now the flat clear, where's the yes. flat clear? There's a flat clear I'm going to be using, okay? So it could be any flat clear. I just choose to use this. This is like a high quality. This is a smooth clear or super smooth. What's the difference? So regular 
flat clears have a flattening agent in them. Yes. And it can look quite white, diffuses color. So when you put it onto say black, it starts looking gray because it's diffused all the reflection. And to reduce that, they've got um, a different kind of flattening agent in this. Oh. So it maintains the saturation of the color. So when you spray it over black, it actually looks quite black. That's technical. It is. So that's the idea between behind this one. So this will be sprayed on a few things to seal it all up. So let's put some more finishing touches. Mm -hmm. We'll go put some stickers on. Yep. And then we will return. For sure. Pretty much the only thing that's going to be left to do, it will be attach the boot lid. Yep. Attach the engine. Mm hmm into the car, mm -hmm. um, we, we can put a couple of stickers on, on camera, yep. and then that'll be it. That's it. Ready to rock. How about, pass me over the motor, oh sorry, the body. Let's see the motor just sitting in there, quickly. And that'll look way better when it's textured with, look at that. See, the engine bay looks too crisp. Does it? You might have to put some, some wash in there, no? Yeah, probably. But the motor looks really, Dirty. Well, it should, it should look flat in there. It shouldn't look shiny, right? So there are some stickers going there, but I could probably put a flat clear in there too. Yeah? After the stickers? Yeah. I think so. Because the stickers will be shiny. Yes. Yeah, why don't we do that? It sounds like a plan to me. Well, there we go. Maybe we're going too far. Really? <laughs> There's our... You have to know when to stop. Fiat. How good is it? Australian exclusive. That's right. Hearns Hobbies. All right, so we'll be back. We will be back. And we'll show you how we ended up. Get it done. That's it. All right, we'll be back soon. See you soon. Let's start off again, yeah? Well, so, we're, so we're back. Welcome back as we continue the episode four on the, the Australian exclusive Tamiya Abarth build. MB01. The MB01. That's right. So we've had a bit of time. Yep. We've come back. This is the morning now. And we've done quite a bit of work here. Well, actually, stickers. you did a bit of work. You put all the stickers on it. Yeah, there's a couple hours work there and all the stickers. Yeah. Um, it's still far from finished. It's probably got about 70% of the stickers on there. Mm -hmm. But I did put some of the big major ones on so you guys get an understanding of it. It's definitely looking pretty good And now. I've deliberately left some off that I can put on now mm -hmm. in the studio yep. as part of a tutorial. And that's how um, just how I do the stickers, everybody has their own technique and stuff. This is where we're up to. And you're going to show off that beautiful little engine detail. So, so the last I just added thing a we bit. did yesterday was mm -hmm. the panel line. That's right. And that's all dried off. We did the rusty pipe and the panel line. Oh, and yes. the fur. And the fur. And okay. have a look at those air filters. Yeah. So I just added a few other things too. There's some lines on here. Yep. Spark plug lines. A bit of fuel line. That's right. And then the furry bits, I just put a bit more green on them to deepen the color. And then we're going to put some more stickers on there. And then finally, we're going to put some flat clear I'm and gonna, I'll be ready to I'm go. I'm going to let you put the sticker on the engine since you're the engine man. Yeah, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I'll do that. Since you are the engine man. So you stick this over here. So Tamiya have given us a handy little legend, mm -hmm. haven't they? They have. So you can have the engine. These are the engine stickers here. Where are they? So I just see these, these three here. And these three? Yeah. So if you can cut. Is there anything else? Or maybe 25. What's that? Well, we'll have a look. Let's come over oh. here and have a look. So 25 there? goes on the top, behind the oil cap. Behind the oil cap? Oh, okay, yeah. 28 goes on the side, and 28 goes on the front. Hang on. Now you don't have to put all of them on the side of the rocker cover. Where's the little one go? On top of the oil, the little, in front of the oil cap. Oh. Oh, and okay, little, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And then we've got... And so I'm assuming the other one goes on, yep. The front of the alternator, 27. Oh, that might be a little okay. bit tricky behind the pipe. What okay. do you think? I can do that. I've got, I've got tweezers. you got tweezers? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorted with that. Is that all that's on the engine? Yep. Okay. All right. I'll chop those out. And, and I will the grab some on the body. Well, we've got the boot, the boot lid here, the bonnet lid. We still haven't decided what we're calling it. What have I got here? The engine cover. The engine cover. Couvre. What? I'm not sure. I'm just making words up. You're uncouth. That's that time of the day. All right, so let's so I'm do using, some chop chop. You're using nice straight sensible scissors. I'm using a curved scissor because right. I'm a bit bent. I thought you had some straight ones before. No. No, you can use these. I'm just about finished. No, this is where I do all my stickers. Oh, is it? You like it like that? Yeah, I do. Oh, you like living dangerously? I do little nibbles. <laughs> I have the little, I have the concave away from the print and I follow the tip 
of right. the forces me to take little nibbles. Right. Well, this little tiny stick, I'm just trying to cut it really, really tight because it's going to end up in a really small tight, area. Tight like a tiger. Actually, what am I doing here? I'm not sure. So it is a bit hard to handle. And stickers are not ideal to be doing on camera. No. Are they? No, because sometimes you have to... You have to pull faces. That's right. Do con contortions. Contort. That's you right. To just to get the, get the fit. Get the Nan tongue comes out. Nan's hair, hair dryer comes out. That's right. The cat runs off. Oh, I think I'll cut everything out first. The hobby knife falls off the bench into your toe. It, what? All, it all happens when you're doing stickers. Look, it's gone quiet. Isn't it? We're, we're concentrating really hard. I'm just concentrating on keeping my tongue in my face. What? You're doing a good job of it. Who? You. Well, only because you're, you're not looking. Oh. It's been out the whole time. Is it? Isn't there someone we know that always has the tongue out? I think Dafina. Is it? I think he, I think he licks his way around the driver's stand. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder they've been so clean. What do you mean? The driver stamps. Yeah. All right. Have you seen Cookie drive? He looks like he's about to launch himself off. He, he, he's, 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 really, pretty, he's pretty young. He's really involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what it takes to be number one. Well, that's it. Well, Cookie's going to the world this year, isn't he? And that could be any year, because this is a legacy video. <laughs> Oh, well, that's no? right. That's right. Mm -hmm. What year is it again? 2023. Oh, you give away the magic. <laughs> no? People might be watching this in 2025. What? Go and look at these and? clowns. Look what they used to do. Yeah, we'll that's see. A, that's a new noise. Well, that's a chugga chugga noise that, are, that, that appears sometimes in the shop. Sounds like somebody's... What do you Dan. think it is? It's some sort of compressor going. Dan's got a Wellesco going. <laughs> Could be a steam engine going upstairs. I'm sure this building has all kinds of the building secret bits and pieces. The building talks to you. All right, so I've got my really pointy scissors, my scissors, tweezers here. Let me try and put this one on, eh? Let's do this tiny one here. I don't want to drop this. So just doing fine little. There we go. So I got some. Actually, I've got to put my my goggles on. Oh, Let's see. Uh oh, it's getting serious. I cannot see. There we go. I can see now. I can see clearly now. And that's the nine steps octrix. That's right. What is it? With some nine many, steps. How many times zoom you got? On oh, this one now. Yeah. All right. Is that just your reading glasses? Pretty tight. Uh oh. How'd you go? It's gone quiet. I think I'm going pretty good. I'll just lock this in and get a heat later. I don't know, it's reasonably straight, I think. Everyone can probably barely see that. It's pretty macro. Can you see that? It's not totally straight. I don't know if I'm going to fix it. I wouldn't. I'll just leave it? That adds character. It's a character build. I don't know. It looks straight before. Oh, well, it's good enough, yeah? All right. Well, then yeah. we got to do the ones on the side. Where the ones on the side go? So, so midway? I actually cut it, but I'm not really happy with it. So because it's so fine, I've actually got to get the hobby knife in there. Hobby knife. And just tidy it up just a tiny bit. All right, so let's get this. Because these are going around the engine cover hinges. Hinges? And Tamiya have engineered these stickers so well, they really don't leave a lot of numpty factor. Numpty? Numpty. Do they? Do you call yourself a numpty? Yeah. Not as a derogatory term, I just don't know what I am. Well, there you go. No, because there's people who are absolutely masters at this stuff and I am far from that. But what I do have is a bowl of water. Put that one on. It's got soapy water in it. Soapy I, water, yeah. And I'm actually washing my hands first. So it doesn't 
tack onto your fingers? Yep. Is that why you're doing that? Well, just to make sure that there's no debris and oil and crap on your hands. Debris. Yeah. I've got a microfiber cloth, nice and clean. Mm -hmm. That's straight from Nan's kitchen bench. She's going to be upset. Well, she won't be upset if she doesn't know about it. I'm cleaning off the panel. Now this right, paint so dries a bath one here. This is going to go on the front end. Now it's a matter of getting it all lined up. I'm going to peel it back 75%. I'm going to snip it off. Snip. These bitty design scissors have been around forever. I'm going to put the deco into a bit of soapy water. And that's going to give me some wiggle room. Wiggle. It's still a little bit tacky. So, and the, the water, the soapy water is just buying time. It's not going to affect the adhesion of the sticker. No, it just allows you to pick it up and move it, doesn't it? Yeah, without damaging and stretching the, the sticker. You notice that I'm not using any water. On tiny are, stickers, it's really hard though, That's right, because they, they drift away. All right, so I've got the three above stickers on here now. And then I'm just going to do, what do you call this bit? This Which little bit? belt, timing belt looking thing. That's Cam thing. It's the alternator Pulley. belt. Pulley. That's the alternator. Is it? Yeah, that's a charge belt. Is it? Is that what you call it? All right, now stickers are always very shiny. You could call it a fan belt, but there's no fan there, so it's a bit... Oh. It's not really a fan belt, is it, if there's no fan? Well, I guess not. But have a look at that. So I've put a bit of water on there. And then all I've got to do is like press the water out of the sticker and that in itself can buy you a few millimeters of manipulation. Manipulation. Here we go, I'm all done. Already? Yep. You should have done all the other ones. Maybe I took way too long. So there's that one there, which looks like the, the pulley and the belt, just there. The pull, the pull, uh, a bus. A bath, a bath. The top one's not exactly straight. It looks of a bath. It looks worse than the camera for some reason. Why is that? Well, probably just because you can see it. I don't know if I'm going to fix this. Let's see if I'm going to fix it. Don't fix it. No? It's oh, okay. It's how the right. Italians would have had it, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. It's part of the passion, isn't it? No? All right, so that's, that's done with the stickers. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put some flat clear on this. I won't do it right now. We'll do it later. They'll seal everything in, including the decals. That's a very static okay. model thing of you, isn't it? What's that? Doing the um, clear. Mm. Because you, you can see that the, the stickers are really shiny. They've got an unnatural sheen to them. And then once we flat, flatten everything, it's going to look really good, including the plug wires. They're, they're really shiny too. So it's going to add a lot of texture, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I should explain how I did the plug lines. You should. So this is just some really thin electrical wire that I found floating around. It's bloody wizardry if you ask me. Just drilled some holes, some really fine holes. They ended up being like 0.8 or 0.9 mil through the little nipples that were already molded on. You can't say that word, we'll put that in the safety box. What, nipples? Nipples. Oh, I can't say nipples? No. All right. It's going to change your name to Harry actually. Harry. Why Harry? Because you're a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I've just bent them around. Fixed them on this side too. The wire there. And then I just did a, a dirty black wash on them. Because dirty. you said that these plug lines should look dirty. Yeah. And I've got a bit of um, Tamiya masking tape in the center there, just holding those lines together, which you probably won't see until I zoom in. Oh. Trying not to fall off the chair. So that bit there, that's just um, Tamiya masking tape, which I cut really thin. Yep. Wound it all around and sealed it up with some super glue and then painted black. Really? Hmm. So that's never going to come loose. Because if, do, if you don't do that with uh, masking tape, because masking tape is low tack, it will just undo itself. That okay, so that's permanent good, now. That almost looks like fabric. Oh, you, you wanted to do the fabric thing, didn't you? That could have been a thing. Oh, it could have been. It could have been. I didn't realise that it looked so textured, the, the masking tape in that no. scale. And then the furry bits here, 
So that was just um, green flock, which we normally use for doing grass effects, right? It was gorgeous. I add a little bit of green wash to that, just to deepen it off. But that's ready to go. Looks right, doesn't it? Looks phenomenal. I'm going to make some noise. For mom, mom. So right. over here, we can see here, you can keep yeah, it in zoom, zoom if you want. Oh yeah, go tight. So you can see here, I have, see that it's not quite stuck down? Yep. And the tiny little air bubbles. Yep. Now this isn't a perfectly flat surface in that the fleck of the lane flake did come through. Well, the lane flake is actually quite chunky, we didn't yeah. realize. And we weren't really interested in really sanding it down or recoding it. It doesn't no. have to be su super smooth for no, what we're that's doing. Right. But it will come through a little bit in the sticker. So doesn't matter. I have put the deco on. Yep. It doesn't fold over the edge there, but that's okay. Um, it goes around the hinge, like I yeah. said. So what do you reckon? Should we do some black washing here later? I think you should definitely. Just to emphasize do. all those, yep. those slots. I think you should definitely do that. Mm, okay. But in the meantime, so I'm just going to get the heat dry going. Yeah. The hair dryer, heat dryer. Heat dryer. And um, yeah, I'm only going to have it on a low setting and that is going to... Help lay them down. It's going to help lay it down, mm -hmm. manipulate it a little bit further and activates the adhesive somewhat. Mm, like it does. Once usually heated up, they don't lift, they don't pick up. No, that's you right. Know? Absolutely. So just bear with me. All right. Bit of noise. Imagine the engine was up here. That looks a bit dystopian, doesn't it? Front mount. Right here. Imagine that. We're getting pretty close, aren't we? So close I can taste it. Because the decals did come with these um, what do you call it? Mesh, mesh covers mesh. for the, the carbs? Yeah. But you see how they're flat and they've, been, they've got the cutout. So they need to cover a conical section, which can be really troublesome. They would have been well engineered. Mm. But I think the, the foam filters just add a little bit of nice touch. Nice touch it is. Second. So we're not, we're, not, we're not going to put this big cross on the top are we? No, because it's going to get scratched off. Yeah. I think. So we're going to leave it. Because once one, like this. one roll over and it will be all scratched on the top. No, that's right. But the orange has worked out really well. All the way around. Nice contrast. Works really well with the blue here as well. Might be a bit hard for everyone to see but that Lane flake is just really nicely subtle coming through on the uh, the cores of grey. The wash on the lenses too, they've come up really well. Have I told you how I don't like to use anything other than my fingers on the stickers? Oh really? Well it's very tactile and you can you can tear them when you're like manipulating them and rubbing them, sticking them down. Yeah that's true. Even the gizmos, I've, I've done damage. Oh, you can, especially after you've heated them, because they do go pretty soft, don't they? They yeah. get very pliable with heat. All right, so what you got here? So if this is rubbish, let me clear this off a bit. Get this out of your way. Here you go. So I just wanted to show those two anyway. That's just the case in point. Yep. And that's how long it can take just to stick down two Should stickers. Should we get a, a close look at it? So you can see now Around. how it's we go. perfectly gone around the, the hinges. Yep. It's so all nice so it's, and sitting flush. Yes. And there's less chance of that actually peeling up by itself. Yeah. Because it's now it's sort of been molded and melted into shape. Yes. Hopefully when it cools down, it'll be somewhat take up the form. And yep. because it's been hot, there's no water under there or soap under there anymore. And the super glue or the, the adhesive itself mm. should be activated. Yep. In a way that that'll never come up or lift now. Yeah. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. So that was the painstaking way that I do stickers. Hmm. Very nice. So that's pretty much it, isn't it? That is so, pretty much so it. So we've got, we got a little bit more stickers to do. Got a little bit more stickers. We're going yep. to fix the engine in. 
Yep, so engine's going to live in the back like this. It's going to have the boot lid on. That's right. Isn't it? Yep. And as you can see, the, the colour matches so well already. And we didn't paint that with the cores of grey. No. No, we just did the uh, lane flake on it and cleared it to get the gloss back. The gloss is really good. Yep, sits in perfectly. So I love it. Fantastic. Well, that is that. That's so it, isn't it? Look forward now to the, in the future, I suppose. You're going to see this thing ripping around. Ripping. It will rip around the racetrack. Mm. Specialty events, racetracks, and I dare say it's going to have a good legacy and have a comfortable retirement in the glass cabinet. For cabinet sure. in the showroom. Yeah, looks awesome. I love it. I, I, I've, I've grown to love it more and more. A huge, well, that's the thing with these projects, isn't it? You often do, mm. like, you become somewhat attached by the time you finished it. Mm. So, a huge thank you to Tony Gray, to me at Australia, and BJ for helping us get it done. It's all been great fun. Team effort. Fantastic, right. guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us on this wonderful build. That's it. See you later.